Has it disappointed some here, I suppose, in Australia? Um, I don't think so. I think it sort of almost feels like we're still playing this weekend. The, um, the boys are still pretty sombre, but, you know, um, we'll get around each other in the next few days, I'm, I'm sure, and talk about things and, and then hopefully just, you know, have a good break and move on. Does it make it even more frustrating that people are still looking at umpires' decisions, etc., like that whole what could have been if that had happened or that had happened? Yeah, I, I guess. Um, look, to be honest, I haven't sort of kept in touch with too much, you know, from the game, so... I think it's probably the best way to go about it. If you, you keep thinking about those little things, it's you know a pretty long summer. Brett Brighton, our back page of the paper, it looks like he's all set to be signed up. You obviously would be happy with that, I imagine. Yeah, certainly, and it's it's fully expected as well. Um, look, I'm sure the club will announce it, you know, when the time's right. But um, you know, the players are, you know, fully behind Rats, which has been pretty evident throughout the year, and you know, the group's shown fantastic improvements. So. Um, you know, he fully deserves, you know, anything he gets in, in the next few days. Has Greg Swan or um, Greg spoken to the group about that contract situation? No, not at all. It's, um, look, they're the best people to deal with that and I'm sure they'll do it in, in the right manner and, you know, when it's announced, it, then the players will hear from hear from them then. Rats raised the prospect uh, of going for a forward in the trade period. I know you've obviously got a couple of forwards that are injured, but uh, Chris Dawes is uncontracted. Uh, is he the sort of one you go up to, do you think? Uh, look, he's the sort of player any side needs that sort of big, you know, forward. Um, it's becoming more evident, you know, in the game today. You know, you see the teams that are doing well have got those big power forwards, but, you know, he's, he's the type of player that, you know, would be great at the club, but that's not saying that we don't have that, you know, sort of play here already, especially if we can get, you know, Wadey and Cruz fully fit next year and, and a couple of young kids coming through who, are, you know, look like they'll fill that mould. Jamie Ford suggests you might prefer to leave Pendo down back. Can you tell us a bit about your relationship with him and how you feel about it? Him, you know, filling a key role in yeah, look, obviously he's done you know a super job in the past eight weeks. He's um, you know, taken the taken the task by both hands and and really done well. Um, he's really enjoying playing down back as well, which you know obviously helps if you're enjoying your footy. So, look, I really enjoyed playing with him. You know, the last few games. Um, obviously, I didn't get to play with him too often, but you know, he's, he's fit in well, in pretty well down there. So, um, you know, it'd be nice to get another preseason into him down back and and look forward to next year. Do you think he is a more natural defender than a, than a forward? Um, I think if he's got the versatility to go both both ways, it you know it certainly helps. I think you know early in guys' careers, it's you know usually easy to play back when they can you know follow someone around and and almost learn off you know some great forwards in the game. So you know he, he looks like he's done that in the past you know past eight weeks, and it, you know it might help him you know go forward you know later in the year as well. It's been uh, high, yeah. It's been highlighted that Chris Judd's disposals over the last month have been down on his. Uh, Lofty high. So, do you think it's been a bit unfair, or do you think he's been a bit over What do you think on that? Oh, he's certainly been quiet on, you know, on his standards. But you know, I think Rats spoke earlier in the week that it allowed guys like, you know, Mark Murphy's possessions and, and Mitch Robinson's and guys like that have probably gone up. So, you know, obviously, it's not what we want. We don't want Juddy, you know, being quiet. But um, it probably highlights the fact that we need guys around him to help him out. And but you know, he's more than happy to do those team roles if it, you know, allows you know Simo and Mitch and and um, guys like that to get more involved. And just in terms of your last play four, did you guys know there was perhaps a bit more time on the clock than the viewer might have thought? I think it was about 34 and a half minutes when you sort of went forward. It looked like the was going to go in a minute. Yep. But it turns out you had quite a lot of time. What, what did you know at the time? No, I don't think there was too much you know, clear thinking going on at that stage of the game. It was... Um, we sort of got, you know, it was that many people in our forward line. They obviously tried to, you know, get numbers back, but you know, you don't really think about the clock and, and how much time you, you do have. It's just you know, try and get the ball through the sticks. Plenty of experts say you need to, to lose one to win one or have that heartbreak to, to go down. I mean, it'd be nice if you subscribe to that theory that perhaps this is hardening the team for future success. Yeah, um, well, I'd rather just just win the, win a few in a row. I think um, last you know, it's three years in a row we've. We've lost a close interstate final, so I think it just highlights the fact that you know you need to finish top four, and, and that's certainly the goal next year. And what's the uh, program this week in terms of uh, time off and sort of what we're into? Yeah, the guys are in for medicals today and, and catching up with the coaches, just a, a quick review of the year, and and then later in the week we'll do some more screenings and things like that. But it's it's pretty low key, and then and then the guys will get away, obviously. And how is your injury sit at the moment? Are you completely right now? Or? Um, yeah, pretty much. Look, there might be. Um, I'll go see the doc soon and, and see what they have to say, but hopefully I just need you know probably a month off and have a nice rest and be ready to go. Did you have to be nurse to the line? I think you, you'd be lucky to find anyone that isn't nurse to the line this time of year. Everyone's pretty sore and, and you know struggling to get through a little bit, but um, it's a long year and you know as I said, I'd, I'd say most guys are like that. But you had your setbacks in those last few weeks, a couple of on and off weeks, so 
Was it soreness or were there still structural issues? No, yeah. certainly no structural issues. Um, you know, the surgeons were all pretty happy with how everything went. It was just, you know, you'd probably like a few more weeks off just to get it right, but you're not afforded that, you know, come final. So it was um, just get out there and, and, try and try and do your best, I guess.